Hello and welcome back to That's Football. This is your daily interactive transfer rumour roundup show. I hope everyone is doing fantastically well, as I am. Um, a lot of news to cover today. Um, some breaking news as well that came out uh, just today, about an hour or two ago. So uh, I'll be giving you that information as well. We've got Mares, Griezmann and Jorginho to talk about, along with many, many others. As always, I've got your comments here uh, to take your comments and opinions on everything uh, rumour, transfer rumour based. So get involved. Give me your opinions, whether you think they're going to be good transfers, whether you think they'll actually happen or not. Get involved and, um, well, and have your say. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, breaking news uh, about an hour or two ago that Mauricio Pochettino has signed a contract a contract with Spurs that would keep him at the club until 2023. So that's about a five-year contract. Now, get in the comments, Spurs fans. I know Nathan's one of them. Um, but, uh, if you know, just general football fans. Do you think this is a good deal? Um, a lot of, well, he wasn't linked to a lot of clubs, but... Chelsea, Manchester United fans, some of them had wanted him. Um, there were some rumours about him going to Chelsea this season and maybe Manchester United next season if Mourinho didn't work out. But look, it's essentially a five-year contract to your side now and, and you don't sign a five-year contract without you know, certainty that what you've got at the club and, and, the, and the finances you've been given, etc., etc., is exactly what you want. So I don't think we'll see Pochettino moving on to a, a Manchester United if Jose Mourinho didn't go out and obviously um, not Chelsea this season anyway. But uh, get in the comments, what do you think of that? Mauricio Pochettino signed a contract that would keep Matt Tottenham Hotspurs Spurs until 2023. Uh, Matthew McFadden says, Spurs is Poch's level right now. High-level high level club, but not the creme de la creme. Um, this is sort of in front of me. Is there any way I can push that back a bit, maybe? Sorry, this thing's just annoying. That, that thing's just annoying me. Anyway, um, yep, uh, he is going to win many, many trophies. Well, Moaz, he's been at Spurs how long now? Four or five years? Four years, maybe? And, and he, hasn't, he hasn't won anything, which is my major concern with uh, Mauricio Pochettino. I know there's a lot of Manchester United fans that would have liked to see him at the club, but in my opinion on him, Pochettino, is that, look, he's not a winner, and, and big clubs like Manchester United and Chelsea, or whatever, Manchester City, are about winning trophies. If you don't have that winner's mentality, you're not cut out for the job. Look, I've the jury's still out on Mauricio Pochettino, in my opinion. He's, if he can get a League Cup, potentially an FA Cup, then we can start start talking. I don't expect him to go on and win the League of Spurs because, you know, the finances aren't there and when City is spending 300 million a year, you can't compete. But an FA Cup or a, or a Carabao Cup would just give me that give me that signal that yes, right, he's got it, he's got it in him. He's got that winner's mentality in him and, and I haven't seen that so far. Bottling it on many occasions this season in the semi-finals against Manchester United in the FA Cup. So, Look, jury's still out, but um, that's it. Five years at Spurs. He signed a contract until 2023. Uh, moving on with a man you can see just down there. With, you know, linked to Manchester City, not only this summer, but in January. He was on the verge for signing for the club, um, but it, it didn't go through. It, it fell through for whatever reason. Mares went on a mini strike, if you will, um, and I wasn't happy that that... that Transfer broke down, but it seems Manchester City are interested in the Algerian once again this summer. Uh, the fee hadn't been released, but it has come out today that uh, a fee of around £60 million pounds will um, will take Mares to Manchester City. Let me know. Right, this is the this is a good debate to start. Manchester United fans and Jet Chelsea fans, whatever whoever you support. Would you have liked to see Mares at your club? It does look like Mares is going to go to Manchester City. I think that deal will happen. Like I always say, don't take everything we report as 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 truth because they're just rumours and, and we're going to talk about them. But I do think this Mares to Man City deal is one that will happen. I want to hear what you guys think about that. Do you guys think he'll succeed at, you know, do you think he's going to succeed at Manchester City is another question. Like, you know, with, with like I keep saying, with any forward that's going to come into that Manchester City side at the moment, you've got Aguero, Gabriel Jesus, Leroy Sane, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, Raheem Sterling. How the bloody hell a striker or a forward's going to come into that setup? I don't know. Let me know. Do you think he's going to play? Do you think he's going to be on the bench? Would you have liked him to see him at your club or not? Um, in my opinion, I wouldn't have liked to see him at Manchester United. I think he's one of those players that, right, he does good at... Uh, uh, that mid-table club, but once you step up to a top six, top four side, I've got a feeling he'll crumble. But we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Over to you guys. Um, 
King of Kings World, well, you've got a friend in Alu Man, mate, because he says, I want Mark here. Well, unfortunately, Mark isn't here, mate, because I have been doing these shows uh, daily. These are slightly longer, slightly more interactive. Mark, of course, does the midday show, but, you know, I, I enjoy these ones, and I hope you guys do too. So, hopefully, I can win you round if you're not a fan of me. But, um, you know, if you're not a fan of me, let me know what I can do to, do to get better. Matthew Dean says he will struggle to play at Manchester City. Do you think Manchester City will break the transfer record in a few seasons? Uh, potentially. I don't think so, so, though. I want to talk about Mares though. Uh, AFAF says Mares will sit on the bench at City, which is the sort of thing that I, I predict, if I'm honest. Mares won't be first choice. On the right wing, you've got Sterling and Bernardo. Possibly Jesus. He's more a striker. I get the move, but he won't get as much game time at, uh, at a team like Arsenal. I agree with that. You know, there is always the thing that maybe... Mares is going, you know, I think he is, how old is he now? He is, uh, I think he's 27. I'm not sure, but I think he's 27. You know, he could just be going for a last paycheck. Obviously, City are going to pay him big wages, big money. So if he, maybe he's content sitting on the bench. You never know. Do you think Manchester City, oh, I've just, just answered that. Not sure Mares would even start at City ahead of Sane and Sterling. That's exactly what I think. So he would be a backup, but... Even as a backup, you've got Bernardo Silva, maybe a Gabriel Jesus could go on the right and Aguero would go up front. I think he would be third or fourth choice, if I'm honest. You are boring. Mark is not. I've had annoying and I've had overly loud. I've never had boring, though. That's a no one for me. Um, Mara's 27, I think. Yeah, that's what I went with as well. We need a right winger and a right back and a left back and two full backs, FFS, sort it out. I don't know who you support, mate, but that's a lot of players you need at your club, pal. Um, right, moving on. Staying on Manchester City, though, a, a player that we all know who is actually in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, a player that we all know is going to be making his way over to Manchester City this summer is Jorginho. Um, defensive midfielder, played for Napoli at the moment, 26 years of age. You're thinking, you're asking me, what's the update? All right, Sander, we know he's going to Manchester City. You've talked about it loads. All right, calm down. The, um, the update is that he will st start talking to Manchester City and start Talks will start to be held next week, and the, the rumoured fee of uh, Jorginho is £52 million. So, talks starting next week, and £52 million for Jorginho, the central defensive midfielder at Napoli. They're the two updates. I'm going to throw it to you guys again. Do you think it will be a good deal? I do. I think he'll come in to replace Fernandinho. Fernandinho's getting on slightly. Um, I think Jorginho would be a good signing for Manchester City. I'm going to throw that to you guys. Would Again, would you like to see him at your club if you don't support City? But if you do, which I doubt, let me know. Do you think it will be a good signing for you guys? Dr. Junkie Biscuit hits it on the head, nail on the head. Don't like Sander. Don't watch then. Exactly. I mean, do watch because I need all the viewers I can get. I'll get. I'm battling with Mark for viewers. Jesus. Uh, Jack, 60 million in my opinion. How much would Mares cost? Well, that's the update. So if you are just joining Mares, um, a rumoured fee of 60 million pounds it will cost for the Algerian to move from Leicester to um, Manchester City. Jorginho would suit Liverpool more. That's true, but would he want to go there? I don't know. Jorginho is overrated. Wouldn't want him at Manchester United. With the current setup of Manchester United, obviously um, breaking news today that Fred has agreed uh, deal, uh, agreed terms with Manchester United, 25-year-old Brazilian, of course, and that he will be on his way to the other, the red side of Manchester, the proper side of Manchester this summer. So with their current midfield setup at Manchester United with Matic, Pogba, and now Fred, I, I, I don't think we need Jorginho, in my opinion. Sander is everything but boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be a good bench option for Jordan Henderson. And finally, Mahrez has bought a house in London, apparently. That, is that true? I don't know if that's true. But moving on, we talked about Manchester City. Uh, we talked about Spurs, you know, with Pochettino signing the uh, five-year contract. A weird one, I... Jesus Christ. A weird one, I think, um, with Spurs. This is... I can't understand it. Hegazi, from West Brom, 27 years of age, the Egyptian centre-back, has been linked to... To... Um, to, 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 to Spurs this summer. It's a weird one, that, for me. All right, he did all right this season, but, of course, he was part of that defence that brought West Brom down. He's 27 years of age. I know you might be getting rid of Alderweireld to Manchester United. But what? <laughs> Just, am I the only one that thinks this is a weird deal? Get in the comments. Do you think Hegazi from West Brom to, to Spurs is a weird deal? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I think I read it and I was... I was jumped out of my seat. I thought, hey, 
Is that Higazi to Spurs? It was a weird one. You know, rumours of De Ligt coming into, um, into Spurs. You've got uh, Ardeverel. Yeah, you might be moving him on. I don't know, but you've got Vertonghen. Davinson Sanchez as well. I don't know. It was a weird one, isn't it? It's a weird one. Ahmed says Hagazi is lit. Who's this? Adam, welcome. My name's Sander Seegers. I've got a dodgy haircut and I like chatting waffle about football at 17 years old. If you don't like me, tell me what I could do to get better. If you do like me, very good. Um, what a crap deal. Yeah. Edwin says no. Back up for Sanchez and Vuitton. All right, if he was coming in for backup, that, that would be slightly more understandable, which I think if he were to go to Spurs is probably the way he was going to go. But there's a, it's a strange move, as Lloyd says. It's a strange move. I, I don't quite understand it. Ananthu says Pochettino is a good coach. He can make Hagazi a better defender. Yeah, but he's 27. <laughs> I know he's a good coach, but he's in his prime, so you can only make him that much better. If he was going to be a world beater, he would have already been a world beater. Sander, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? Well, we'll be talking about that um, as the World Cup uh, comes closer. <laughs> What's your p opinions on Pochettino signing the new deal? I think it's a good one. I think if there's any, um, any doubt of him going to maybe a Manchester United uh, in the future even, that would be completely um, put, put, you know, put to bed. I think five-year contract, it, you don't sign that without being 100% sure that you've got the finances you need to do well, you've got the players you like, etc, etc. So, I, you know, Pochettino is a good deal. I think he suits Spurs like a, like a glove, if I'm honest. And um, good luck to him. But he doesn't threaten me as, as a Manchester United fan. Matthew McFadden says about Higazi, the guy's 27 too. Not like he's in his early 20s and can, and can improve greatly. Exactly, Matthew. People saying, um, people saying that Pochettino's a fantastic coach, he can make Higazi better. You can only make, yeah, you might make him that little bit better, but he's 27, he's in his prime. Like I said, if he was going to be a world beater, he'd be there already, wouldn't he? Um, good. Very good. On to Chelsea. Uh, Math, Math, uh, what's his name? Matario Sari. I just had Sari, so I couldn't remember his first name. Matario Sari has not agreed deals with Zenit uh, St. Petersburg in hopes that he is going to join Chelsea. Of course, uh, Carlo Ancelotti signed a three-year contract with Napoli uh, just yesterday. So, sorry, looking like he's on his way to Chelsea. I think it would be a good deal. Um, 60 years of age, sorry. So he's got, you know, not that he's going to stay at Chelsea any longer than three years, but he has got a bit of time left in him, about 10 years or so, I'd say. I think it's a good deal. I do think it's a good deal. Uh, I think it will happen as well. Sorry. Let me know what you guys think. Not much to talk about really there. We've talked about it in the past. But um, I just want to say that he's he's uh, not agreed a deal with Zenit St. Petersburg, where he was linked to in hopes that he was going to sign for Chelsea. Just putting that, just putting that out there. Um, Maratta. Uh, a man that we've talked about a lot, and I, you know, I might sound like a broken record when it comes to Morata and a lot of these players, but there are small updates that we need to keep you updated on um, that come out every single day. And this one's actually quite a big one in Morata. He's 25 years of age, of course. We've discussed why and who and how many stats. We've done all that in the past. I just want to tell you guys that he has been spotted with his agent, Beppe Bozzo, meeting the Juventus um, sporting director, Fabio Daratici. Daratici, Fabio Daratici. So he has been spotting with a sporting director of Juventus um, with Morata's agent. So it looks like a deal for, um, you know, in regards to Alvaro Morata to Juventus is all but done. Um, links to AC Milan yesterday, transfer ban potentially um, holding that deal up or stopping it completely. Also, he was linked to Borussia Dortmund, but it does look like Morata will be going back to Juventus. I presume on a long term, on a permanent basis and not on a loan, although I would like to see him get a loan um, because I still think he's got talent, he's got ability and I think it would be a shame if Chelsea were to let him go, but that's my opinion. Um, and finally on Chelsea, Michael Ballack, obviously the former Chelsea midfielder, but he's, he's set to become the new director of football at Chelsea, which is, I thought, a little, uh, a nice little touch to add in there for you guys. I want to look at your comments for the next few minutes because uh, that's what this show is all about. Quickly though... You see it there. Thanks for 30,000 subscribers. I so massively appreciate it. I was so excited. Me and Mark had discussed and, and agreed that we wanted to hit 30,000 subscribers before the World Cup begins. And that's in about a month. That's in about a month or 20 days, I should say. We've smashed it. And that is all down to you guys. Admittedly, all right, all right. 
me and Mark will take a bit of credit, but without you guys, this channel is absolutely nothing. So thanks so, so much for 30,000 subscribers. I so appreciate it. Obviously, my, it's like water off a duck's back for Mark. 30,000 subs. Got 227 on the United stand, mate. Now nah, I'm sure that's not how he reacts to it. But for me, this is my first, you know, it's massive for me. So I so appreciate it. You know, if you are new to the channel, and if you haven't already, we've gone down seven subscribers since I mentioned that. But if you, if you are new to the channel and you haven't already, then do get subscribing. Drop a like on the video as well, because I massively appreciate all of you getting involved. But um, yeah, go to your comments now. Congrats on 30k. Thanks, everyone. Oh, yeah, Ian says, Sander, are you doing a watch long for Champions League final on Saturday? We will be doing a watch long uh, for the Champions League final in two days' time. Uh, the Champions League final, of course, Liverpool versus Real Madrid. It won't be me because I'm actually going to England to see my family and my, uh, my missus. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm there for about, I'm there till the 6th of June. So, unfortunately, these shows will come to. Not an end, just a temporary halt. So on the 6th of June, I'll be back and I'll be doing these daily transfer shows throughout the summer. But from now, from after this show and until the 6th of June, unfortunately, I'm in England and that ticket was booked a while ago. So I can't take that back. And I want to see my family. So, um, yeah, you got Mark every day at midday, though. So um, we'll be keeping you up to, the, uh, up to date with all the transfer news, um, although I'm not here. Anyway, um, moving on, I, I've not seen a lot of uh, comments about any transfers. BR7 says gaming, BR7 gaming says this is dead. Yeah, it might be a bit, but you know, I'm trying to make it as good as possible. So I do apologise if you are bored. I've never been told boring before. Anyway, moving on. Man in the middle there. Not man in the middle, it's man in the mirror. I learned that yesterday. If you have been watching the streams every day, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But... Antoine Griezmann, so much speculation in terms from uh, in terms of him moving to Barcelona this season. Um, you can see Jorge Garcia Hernandez um, in the comments. The, that's Jorge that has joined me um, for the Barcelona watch longs. He is a Barcelona fan, of course. A lot, a lot of talk for Antoine Griezmann going there. He is 27 years of age. Um, you know, rumours coming out that he said to the Atletico that he wants to stay. Rumours coming out that he wants to go. We're, no one's quite sure. But what we can tell you is Antoine Griezmann has been offered 8.75 million more a year in terms of wages um, than, than Barcelona and offerings, offering him. So Atletico and Madrid really, really trying to keep the French striker at the club. And um, look, whether it will happen or not, I don't know. Get in the comments. Do you really stay or will he go now? Let me know in the comments. Is he going to Catalonia or is he staying in the capital city? Very good. I like a sing song now and again. You're welcome. All I'm saying is platinum number one in, uh, in a couple of years' time. But let me know what you guys think about that. Is he going to go to Barcelona or will Antoine Griezmann stay? I've got your comments here uh, and let's get into it. Teddy Trinodon. Teddy, welcome, bud. How are you doing? Um, Teddy says Griezmann should stay at Atletico Madrid where he could be the main man. If he goes to Barcelona, then he could only be another, another Arda Turan or Andre Gomez. I'm not sure whether that's 100% true, mate. I think Luis Suarez is coming to the end of his uh, time at Barcelona. He is 31 years old. And you might see Griezmann come in and him start. And Luis Suarez maybe played, uh, maybe he's more of a bench player. We don't know how it would go. But I do think it's a good point that Barcelona have got an abundance of talent and quality in that side that it would be very difficult to get into the side. Jorge, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think uh, Antoine Griezmann would go... Um, would start at Barcelona. Do you think if he does go there, do you think do you think he would actually start and get into the first eleven? Let me know. Tre Teddy uh, seems to think no, but I want to hear all your guys' opinion as well. Um, Jorginho and talks of City. Yes, Albert, we have talked about that. So if you do want to hear about Jorginho to City, then just rewind a little bit or just watch it after the show has finished. Um, Saunders, I love you. You're the reason I wake up in the morning. Well, oh, Jesus, Luke, that's a bit much in it. Jesus Christ, but. Thank you, I appreciate it. Is the Griezmann's transfer dead now? Well, Atletico Madrid pulling out all the stops to try and keep him there, offering him uh, 8.75 million more in wages than Barcelona are willing to give him. We don't know. That's the, that's the honest answer. We don't know what's going to happen. Let's just hope news like 
rock solid news comes out whether he's going to stay or whether he's going to go I just have a feeling it's going to drag on past the World Cup and into the latter stage of the transfer window Ali says I want you to I want Mark you to childish you're singing his crap does this guy actually think that my, I, I thought my singing was good you take life too seriously <laughs> you take life too seriously pal if you can't have a joke and a little sing song sort your life out pal um, Griezmann to stay 100%. Fred is red. Yep, yeah, Fred obviously agreeing uh, terms with Manchester United and medical to come in the next week or so. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's all I've got on Griezmann at the moment. You guys are just chatting a load of waffle about things not related to, to, to the transfers, which you're entitled to do, but it doesn't help me out. Anyway, um, moving on. Staying on Atletico Madrid, though. How long have we been live? Right, we've got about 10 minutes left. This is a really weird one. We've talked about Hegazi to Spurs. This is, I think, equally as weird. Atletico Madrid and Inter Milan are interested in signings. Just you wait for it. Solomon Rondon from West Brom. Venezuelan, 28 years old. Very good in the air, of course. He's got £16 million release clause as West Brom did get relegated from the Premier League. But I tell you, oh God, that's a weird one. That's two weird transfers in one show. Hegazi to Spurs and Solomon Rondon to, to Atletico Madrid. What do you guys think of that? I mean, get, get in the comments. I don't, I don't know where to start. If it was to happen, it'd be absolutely mental. I, 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 I don't know. You guys are saying, what, lol? Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It's weird. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, he's a good player, and I think Championship probably suits him better than the Premier League, but I would have never seen him at an Inter Milan or at a Atletico Madrid. I would have never seen that. Never, ever. Um, even if we don't have the same opinions, respect it. Yeah, that's... Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm eight, oh yeah, guys, if you're wondering how old I am, yeah, I might be a bit childish. It's because I'm 18 in October, all right? So I do apologise for having a bit of fun and not taking it dead seriously. I'm here to give you the transfer rumours, but let's have a bit of fun on the way, shall we? It makes a bit life a bit, 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 I can't speak, a bit better, doesn't it? Um, Rondon will not go to Atletico to play second fiddle to, fiddle to Griezmann or Costa. He might, and if Griezmann leaves, he might get even more game time. Rondon to Atletico as a Griezmann replacement. Seems like a fair deal, that. And Griezmann, Rondon. If anything, Rondon's slightly better than Griezmann. Yeah, I mean, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Inter Milan are not the side they once were, to be fair. Atletico Madrid, I'm, I'm surprised about, though. That's true. There's more chance of him going to uh, Inter Milan. They are not the side that they once were, like you say, Ben. Um, it's a good point. Anyway, moving on um, to the final few stories of the day. West Ham have let James Collins and Patrice Evra go, um, or not, your, not yet anyway. And June 30th, when their contracts run out, uh, they will be leaving the club. Uh, James Collins, obviously a, uh, a West Ham legend, I'd say. I think you could go that far. And um, Patrice Evra, just an overall good guy, isn't he, Evra? So um, they're, they're the outs for them. But um, Pellegrini, obviously the new West Ham manager, wants to bring in Reims goalkeeper Edward... M Edward... Edward... Ed Ed, E-D-O-U-A-R-D. -E How do you say that? Edward. I'm just going to say Edward Mendy. 26 years of age. He wants him to be his first signing. I don't know much about him, but um, clearly not happy with Adrian or Joe Hart. Moving on from West Ham. Um, Martin Skirtle's agent has ruled out a deal to Rangers um, due to the fact that Rangers could not finance the deal. Steven Gerrard obviously played with Martin Skirtle at Liverpool, clearly likes the sight of him, but um, Skirtle's agent has ruled out that deal. And finally, Leighton Baines has denied, um, denied, sorry, he claims that he is not interested in moving to the M MLS amidst um, a few, a fair bit of speculation that he was going to be off to the States. Stop the fake stories. I'm not, I'm not, stop, I'm not reporting any fake stories, mate. I'm just reporting what's in the tabloids, pal. My birthday is the 3rd of October, chaps. Manchester United put an £87 million uh, bid for Sergei Milinkovic-Savic. I don't... Rumours today that he will cost about €100 million, Euros, which is probably about £87 million. Once you pay that for Savic, for a young player who is potential, and, and, and if we're definitely bringing in Fred like it looks like we are, for potentially a reserve player, not only do you pay that £100 million for um, for Savage, but you, you then get charged a lot more 
by other clubs who've seen you've paid that 100 mil. So if you were paying 100 mil for Savage and you want to get Alderweireld, Spurs are going, well, Jesus Christ, you've got, 100, you've got that money in your bank. Right, we want 120 mil. So it just inflates not only your market, but the market in general. So I, I, if it means that, I, I wouldn't want to go for Savage. Um, and it does look like we're going in for Fred. So I'm sort of content with Fred, Matic and Pogba. Herrera as a backup, maybe McTominay as well. I'm content with that. Didn't mean to type good twice. Oh, I hated Gerrard as a player, but judging by his analysis of, uh, of the game as a pundit, I think he'd be a good manager. Matthew McFadden, let me know. Rangers fan, Matthew is. Claims to be a Man United fan, but he's not. He's a Rangers fan. But um, thanks everyone for joining me. We're 25 minutes into it. I think I'm going to start wrapping up the show. Let's do a little summary, shall we? Mare is going to cost £60 million uh, pounds to, to, uh, to, uh, to move to Manchester City. Uh, Jorginho, of course, holding talks with the club, Manchester City, that is, uh, next week. A rumoured fee of £52 million. Pounds. Chelsea, sorry, looks like he's going to be on the way there. Morata um, is holding talks. He's actually been spotted talking to the, uh, the sporting director of Juventus, Fabio Daraticcio, um, Daratici, sorry. Spurs want Hergazi, but more importantly, Pochettino has signed a contract until 2023. Atletico Madrid. Uh, are pulling out all the stops and offering Griezmann 80, uh, 8.75 million more in wages than Barcelona would. Another weird one, Rondon to Atletico Madrid or Inter, I don't know. And um, they're the main stories of the day. We've also got Patrice Ever and James Collins leaving West Ham. Um, but yeah, thanks everyone for joining me. Like I said, this will be my last show until the 6th of June. So uh, it's been a good trial that they've seemed to, you've seemed to enjoy them, apart from a few of them. Um, a few of you just think I'm an absolute wanker, which I am. I am a wanker, but you like me. At least some of you do anyway, which is good. And I think I chat half cents about football, which is always a bonus, isn't it, when you're working on a football channel. But thanks, everyone, for joining me. I'll see you on the 6th of June. Mark will be here on Saturday with the Champions League final watch along, along with daily content at midday, keeping you up to date with all the transfer rumours. So, until 6th of June, adios. And quickly, thank you for 30,000 subscribers. Very good. Cheers, all, and I'll speak to you.